Hey, it's Aran here. In this training video, I'm gonna share with you how to create a mini course in New Zendler as a lead magnet, as a lead generation. So basically selling a free course or giving away a free course that somebody can get, go through, and then hopefully become a customer. There are two ways you can do this, and this depends largely on the size of your course. So if your course is going to be four videos or less, five videos or less, something like that, what I recommend is you go to marketing funnels. You can simply create create new funnel. Now, when you do that, instead of choosing lead magnet, you're gonna choose video series. You're gonna click on next and you're going to type in the name of the mini course. I'm just gonna call it mini course demo. And then you can connect it to a product. You don't actually have to do that. And then what you wanna do is you'll notice here, you can add 10 videos. So you can click on add video step and hopefully you would have uploaded all your videos. So basically you would choose one and then step two and I'll just add them one by one, right? This is, let's just pretend that these are the videos. These are just some random videos that I have, right? And then this will be basically the mini course, okay? Now, once you've chosen the videos, you can click on next choose the template, I'm just gonna pick one, and then uh, we could do this one so that you can see it's one, two, three, four, which are locked, and then the actual one showing. Click on finish. Funnel created successfully. Now you'll see the video opt-in. Now if you were to click on it, you'll see what it looks like. Okay, so this is the video opt-in. And when somebody clicks on watch video series, there will be a pop-up to enter their name and email. So that's the video opt-in. Now, the video number one, is going to be this one. One, and you could see this one looks like it's open, not open, not open, not open, and then they'll watch it. Now, if there's gonna be an email the next day that's gonna send the next one. Now, instead of that, what you can do is you can actually copy the day two video and go to day one, and here on day one, you're basically going to put a button that is going to say, go to video two. So instead of having a video drip fed day by day, you're gonna give people access right away. And you'll just do it strictly the same way you would adding an element. You would go to buttons, add a button, and here on the button, you would say go to video, to, uh, go to link, and paste in the link which you got from here, day two of video two, okay? And then you're gonna click on save, and this will be um, day two, okay? So that's one option of how to do it if you don't wanna drip fit it and so on. So you can basically do a course one by one. And you can obviously do as many videos as you like, um, you know, and this will still be displaying, okay? Now, how many videos I've not tested, 10 different videos, but that's something that you can explore and, and see how that works. Now, at some point, you obviously want to add a call to action of buying or booking a, a consultation or something along these lines. Another way you can do it is instead of doing it this way, you can simply do the same way. So let's go to marketing funnels, create new course, and you can do instead of the video series, you can literally just do a mini course demo too. And instead of having videos drip, drip fed day by day, you can simply put all the videos on the thank you page, okay? Now the way this would work is you basically go to the thank you page, you're gonna add new block, uh, empty block, add row, and do it like this, and then put for example, module one, and then give it a name, and then you can give the text, explain module one and what they will learn, and just do like a couple of paragraphs, okay? And then here, you would put the video. So let's do a video from the library, like that. Now, once you've done that and you're happy with the way it looks, you simply click on clone and then this will be module two. This will be module three and so on and so forth, okay? 
So that's another way you can do it. Obviously that might appear a bit clumsy, but realize the, the reason you're doing this is to generate a lead, okay? So you definitely can do something like that. And hopefully somebody will actually take you up on your offer. For example, between the videos, what you can also do is add some sort of a call to action. Now the call to action can be like a sign up here or book a time or something along these lines. So you can put something in between. So for example, liked what you learn so far um, by the full course here or um, uh, sign up for coaching for example like what, what you learn so far and want help with implementation right as an example and then put the button here for the sales page okay so that's another example now let's just pretend that you don't like, you wanna do it more like a course structure. The other way you can do all of this, you can go to courses and here you can create new course, free course demo. Obviously you can update all that stuff, I'm just doing a demo. And then you would set it up like you would a paid course here, the exact same way. But when you go to pricing, when you set up the pricing plan, you're going to do free. You're gonna do it as free option. Then you're gonna click on next and um, free course lead magnet. Okay, just for the sake of demonstration. And now this is how it will be available. So now what will happen is let's say I'm going to publish this course just for the sake of demonstration. And then I'm gonna show you the checkout page. So when you're going to promote it, you're basically going to do the checkout page. Um, you're gonna edit the checkout page as a lead magnet, basically, and then people will be able to enroll for free. Now, just so you can see what it looks like on Incognito, always test things on Incognito in case you didn't know. I have a, a different video on this, which you can see somewhere around here. And here you would basically enroll. So I'm just going to enroll just to do a demo. Gmail.com, continue enroll for free and this will be another way to set up the lead magnet so these are really the two ways to do it continue to course and then i'll be asked to um, create an account so i can log in okay so there you go that's the other option so these are really two ways to do it or i guess three ways to do it um way number one is to just create a free course under courses way number two is to create a marketing funnel either with the course being on the one page or the course being on multiple pages. Okay, so these are your, your kind of two to three ways to do it. Now, I know you probably have a question, okay, what do you do with the email follow-up? Because that's the whole point of getting the, the giving the free course ways to build the email list. So first of all, here under automation, under marketing funnels, this is where you would actually set up your day, um, your, your email follow-up, your whether you call it soap opera email sequence or nurturing email sequence and so on. This is where you would set it up you will click on edit action and you would do the email right here, okay? Uh, when you're done, you make it live and so on. Uh, if you want a tutorial on the email marketing side, definitely leave a comment below and I'll be sure to create one. On the courses, let's go there. Again, you would go to the course and again, it, the emails will be under automation and you see here on enroll, that's the action. When a student enrolls on this course, then you have the email triggers. So that's where you would do it. Now, if you wanna add more emails, so obviously you got the, the email here. You, if you wanna add more, you simply click on add action and send another email. And then you'll see just added another one. And you could just add as many emails as you like, okay? So that's about it. Um, again, if you want more, more tutorial on the email marketing, I'm happy to do that because I've not covered this in detail. But in terms of creating a mini course as a lead magnet, lead generation tool, those are the three ways to do it. Hope you got value from this. If you're new to New Zendler, you've never heard of it, you wanna give it a try, uh, see how it goes, go to tryzendler.com and create a free account. And if you are already a New Zendler customer and you want help to actually build your New Zendler account, definitely let me know. You can go to runfunnels.com forward slash Zendler. I provide a one-on-one -on -one support to actually help you build New Zendler. And I also have a tech support membership where I can support you with simple questions you might have along the way. You can visit .comtruths.com. Thanks all for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Leave a comment if you have any particular videos you want me to do on New Zendler specifically. 
And also, you'll see somewhere around here now, um, the other videos that I have on New Zealand are giving you an overview on how New Zealand works, best practices, and so on. Thanks a lot, and I'll speak to you soon.